Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. I've got another scroller box today. Unfortunately, I know what's in this one again because I've seen it on multiple other accounts um, on social media and um, YouTube suggested videos and things. So uh, it's not a surprise, unfortunately. But I do think there is some purple supplies inside. So I'm very excited about that. So let's have a look. I have not yet seen the artwork, fortunately. I have got some surprise. So it looks like a bunch of feathers. Tazarine Rina. I am probably saying your name wrong and I apologize. Um, but there is her Instagram and it's some beautiful purple feathers. Let's have a look what else is in here. It's got some paper, it's a bit smaller than usual. Let's see what this is inside this. The scroller box sticker, a very watercolor y looking sticker, and a, another sticker which must have been made by this artist. How cool is that? That's really nifty. And then we've got the list of supplies. So here we have a brush marker, a water brush marker. I have got one similar that I got in a sketchbox just over here. So looks like it might be a different color. This one says. Aqua tint rose quartz. Ooh, very nice. And then we have a Karen Dosh HB pencil. I've never owned any Karen Dosh stuff before, so that's very cool. An Artline Point Two drawing system pen. I own the whole set of these, so uh, this is handy. It's always uh, good to have an extra one because they do run out. Ah, an end of pencil eraser. I wonder if that's supposed to go on here. There we go. We have a Carandage Vibralo texture, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a texture. I'll have to have a read and what that is. It's a fiber pen. Okay, cool. And blue and in yellow. We have the lolly, which is. Ma Mayamo, I don't know how to read that. Happy Frutus, looks like lemon flavor, my favorite flavor of lolly, that's so cool. And then we have these, which I seen actually in a palatful pack opening on drawing with waffles. So that's interesting. So we've got a few colors here. Um, looks can be just, it at least looks red inside, but it is yellow on the cap. It says gold, so it must be a gold colour. Whoa, look at that brush nib. Um, and then we have a, a turquoise, toy turquoise, a lush green, it is. That's there. It's very cool how you can see the liquid inside. A blender. Okay, I wonder what the blender is made up of, whether or not these are alcohol markers. And yay, a purple or lilac, as it says on here. That's brilliant, just have, have to try. Oh wow, that's amazing. That's a nice purple. Can't see it very well on the camera there. So, oh, I hope I didn't bleed through to the paper. So let's see if these are alcohol markers. Um, liquid ink, okay, so it is not alcohol, it's liquid ink, that's very cool. And this is Botanical Ultra Smooth 300 GSM, mold made, 50% cotton, Paper. One side will be smooth and the other side then the other side, so choose wisely. Okay. The Helix pencil cap. Okay. And the challenge is plumage. That's awesome. Okay. Um, let's get into swatching. So I quickly swatched out all the colours. I did it on the rough side and the smooth side and I really actually couldn't tell any difference between the two. So I ended up just using the rough side in the hope that maybe I might get some texture. Um, after I swatched them all, I also tried blending the brush pens with the blender. Um, it didn't really work really well. Once it was down, it was hard to shift, but and I didn't really use it in my final piece either, but it was worth giving it a go. I jumped into this picture without a reference and don't often do that but I think that thanks to the 100 heads challenge I was able to put something down on paper that looked like a face um, without a reference so I was really happy with that. So I kind of made her nose look a little bit like a beak because um, my idea was that it, she was a kind of a peacock lady who had long 
feathery peacock feathers for hair. Um, and so I, I, originally I was going to do like a face with peacock feathers, feathers floating all around but when I seen that the page was long I thought maybe it could be swooping down across the page. And I'm actually really happy that I made that decision. The art line pen that was in this box was a dud. I actually had to use my art line pen that I already had here uh, because that one just it wouldn't write for whatever reason. It was probably all dried up of ink. I'm going to give it another couple of goes, but if it doesn't work, I can just throw it out. Um, but I've never got a dud supply from Scrawler Box before, so you know, you can't always win. And uh, then I noticed that most of the colors were about the same value, and I wanted there to be some differentiation between the colors because they were also dark and, and saturated so I got a piece of glass out and I just scribbled the colors onto the glass that I wanted to be lighter and then mixed it with a bit of water and painted it on with a paintbrush. Uh, I also used the blender pen with this green on the uh, eyes of the pe peacock feathers to blend that out a little bit and make it a bit more of a gradient. It kind of worked and it kind of didn't. And then, of course, the purple I leave to be the hero of the piece and made her hair all purple. So, yeah, I just coloured that all in and then I put some of the pen straight on the picture to kind of make strands and hair and stuff. It was actually really hard to get a fine line with these pens, even though they had a brush nib. My hands are too shaky and it ended up wobbly, so it was easier just to go... A little bit thicker with it but yeah overall I'm really happy with these supplies uh, probably with something I wouldn't buy again but um, definitely something I'll use in my sketchbook to muck around with and this was a lot of fun to draw I really enjoyed it my son actually also is participating and he's gonna do his voiceover next so uh, watch for that now haha <laughs> my bad actually not now this is my final piece a bit of a close-up and then my son will do his uh, voiceover Mr. D sketch and also don't forget to go and check him out on Instagram where he posts more often of his art. Hi, I'm Mr. D sketch and I participated in the scroller box challenge with my mum. I really liked uh, this scroller box prompt because it was simple and easy. The colours I used were pretty much the more. What I drew was a bird falling from the sky with feathers scattered around. The bird failed at flying. The art thing I really liked was the brush markers. They were very easy to use and colour in with. I really liked this um, piece of art that I did because it was pretty cool. This is my final piece, um, I wrote my name at the bottom, I really like it, hope you guys do too, Leave, let me know in the comments if you liked it or not, and like and subscribe to my mum. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time we put a new video up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!